What do you mean by a complimentary past transistor logic? Well, my name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backwards Engineering community where I make engineering easy for you. So, let us ask ourselves an obvious question. What do you mean by a complementary past transistor logic? Well, let's find out. So, in the previous video, we saw what a past transistor logic was. That is, when we take an NMOS transistor and at the control terminal, that is at the gate, if we give 1 as the input, then whatever input we give at the other terminal, we would get it at the third terminal as the output. That is, if this is an NMOS transistor, then if this input is 1, then whatever input we give at A, we would get the same value at the output Y over here. So this was what you referred to as a pass transistor logic. So with the help of a pass transistor logic, we were able to construct an AND logical operation like this with the help of two NMOS transistors. But now, what do we do if we have to get a NAND operation? That is when we use a complementary pass transistor logic. So, this is very simple. Let us now construct a complementary pass transistor logic for a NAND operation. So here, first we would construct the circuit for the AND operation like this. So first here we would have one pass transistor like this and then here we would have another pass transistor like this. So here we know that this is A and this is B exactly like this and here if this is B then here we get B bar. Now what we do is that we now extend these two below like this. That is the value of B and B bar we extend it downwards and again here we would have another pass transistor like this and we would give this particular B as an input to this pass transistor and here as well we would have another pass transistor like this and this input we would give it over here like this. So here there is B and here there is B bar and now the interesting part is that at these two terminals we would give A bar and B bar. So the interesting thing here is that here we would get A B or A dot B and here we would get A dot B the whole bar. That is we are getting both AND as well as NAND operation over here. So this does is simply how you obtain a NAND logical operation with the help of a complementary pass transistor logic. As simple as that guys. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as a complementary pass transistor logic. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.